Today I'm going to show you how to configure the application Frita. You can download it from Frita.io as you see in my web browser here and it runs on the Windows and Mac OS platforms. Now what Frita is, is an application that essentially allows you to create your own dashboards for your own projects and those kind of things to easily manage multiple windows and resources and applications at the same time. So I've got the Frita application running here. I've already got a, a pre-built project, but don't worry about that for now. The first thing we're gonna do is go up to manage projects and I'm gonna add a new project and it's gonna ask me for some details. So the first thing we're gonna put in is a name and I'm gonna call this one Code Does Good. Uh, this is a project near and dear to my heart, which is codedoesgood.org. You should check that out at some point. I'm gonna set the file location here, directory, because we may have files that we need to work with for this project. And this will make sense later on. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually point it to some pre-existing files that I've got here. So I'm just gonna do that. And then everything else I'm gonna leave alone uh, just to show you and differentiate, I mean, I'm going to change the icon color and the icon to, let's change it to, oh, there we go, let's change it to that. Everything else, I'm just going to leave alone and I'm going to say done editing. So this is our, our, we have a new project now up here on the list, code does good. I'm just going to switch to that and it's an empty layout. So now we need to start configuring the various options and the things that we want to see on this dashboard. Before I start configuring the dashboard, I'm just gonna quickly run across these icons on the top row. On the left, we have our list of projects. Next, we have the manage projects, the button you saw earlier. Next along, we have a, a simple sort of Pomodoro type uh, timer here. I'm not gonna get into what that is. I just wanna show that to you. We have a toolkit where you can configure basically shortcuts to apps on your system. So I've got, as you can see, Xcode, Tower, Idea, App Code, BB Edit. Basically in here, you would put all the tools you use regularly uh, with this project or, or in general. You can also add a list of commands. I don't have any set up here at the moment. You can also add a series of links you need to go to. So I've got, uh, for my dashboard, for my website, I've got two links there to quickly go to those. And then uh, you can also do some searching. So for now, you know, that's the top, top menu. Next up is this edit layout button. And what this does, it puts us in edit mode to configure items for our dashboard. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So I'm gonna click the edit layout button and that puts us in edit mode where we can create widgets and a widget does a particular thing. So for example, and I'll also add here quickly that you can put some tabs. So you may find you have more widgets that you need than you can fit in your screen space. And you can take care of that by adding extra dashboard tabs. And, and we'll get into that and how I use those. But let's go ahead and look at the add widget list. So as you can see, there are various different types of widgets that you can work with. You can also just hover over here and it'll give you a quick explanation of what each of the widget types are. Uh, one of the ones we're gonna go with here is we're gonna use a file explorer. So I'm just gonna tap on file explorer and it brings up a list. So you remember how we configured the project to use a particular folder on the machine. And now we're seeing the files within that folder. And I can go to a corner here and I can just resize this widget and you can see it sort of jumps to different pre-built sizes. And I'm just gonna make it about this big and let go. We can, of course, also just move them around. It's like a grid system, uh, but I'm gonna leave it in this corner here. And you can see it has a list of the files. Now there is also the ability to copy and paste this widget if you need multiple copies for any particular reason. And there's also the option to configure widgets. So I'm just gonna click on there. And when I do that, you can see that it's gonna give us options. And these options are gonna change based on the widget type. In this example, it's gonna use the root directory of the project that I pointed to earlier, but I actually could reconfigure and, and overrule that here if I wanted to. I can also create rules for various situations. So let's go ahead and create one of those. And I'm gonna say, 
to add a rule and I'm just going to answer a series of questions and it's going to be files and the extension of the file is equal to and I'm going to go with MD so you can see it's highlighting here all the MD files and I'm going to say when you double click it I want to open in BB edit to edit those files notice this is the list of tools that I had pre-configured earlier I'll show you how to add tools to that list in a little while and going down here I'm going to leave the color as blue and I'm just going to say finish and then I'm going to say finish editing and now here's our layout with our widget and on these walls as you can see they're highlighted blue and if I was to double click one of these it would open that file in BB edit let's go ahead and go back to edit layout and let's go ahead and add another widget this time we'll add a web page so when I do that it has this web page widget I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bigger and we're going to configure this one now when we configure this one it's going to want a web address so I'm going to put in codedoesgood.org and it's going to actually go and load up that web page uh, I don't want to show the mobile version I want the desktop so I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now okay I'm going to scroll down and one of the things I really like about Frita is this this way that we can handle session information and it's got a great explanation here uh, you should really go ahead and read that but basically what we can do is we have different levels at which we can have this information stored so I could say application project tab or widget now what this means let's say you've got a website that you need to log into you can specify whether you're logged into this website across the whole application this particular project uh, tab or widget now why might you want to do something other than across the application or project well let's say for example that you you maybe you've got two logins two gmail accounts or something like that you could actually set it to tab or widget and log in separate instances for each of those widgets so that's something I'll, I will be showing you here shortly uh, just one other thing down here auto reload you can set it to automatically reload the address you have above at any of these time intervals and of course you can change the name and color as as you've seen previously so I'm just going to say this is the home page and I'm going to leave it with no color and I'm going to go finish so here's here's now we've got two widgets and if I go finish editing you can see you know I can scroll and everything else they're basically two independent widgets here uh, you also have extra widget uh, options on the toolbar here for the web page one you can go to the start page and of course you can navigate basically like any web browser you can open it in an external web browser you can copy the address and you can do this full window now when you do full window it does exactly what it says it fills the entire tab with this window and I can just tap here to exit and go back again now let's let's do something a little different here I'm going to go in and say edit layout and I'm actually going to resize this one just a little bit I'm going to going to change it to this size here and now I'm going to copy this widget and I'm going to paste it I'm just going to resize it and for this one I'm going to say configure widget so if you're a web designer you're going to love this one I can say show me the mobile version and go finish so now I've got the same website and I'm seeing in my dashboard here the mobile version and the desktop version and if I go finish editing so this is great for checking your layouts as you work so I think you're hopefully starting to get the impression and the idea that you know we can do a lot of things about managing our workflows and our process right here in this one application without having to jump around a whole bunch of different windows uh, resizing browsers or have multiple instances of browsing windows it's all right here for us let's move on to another feature I'd like to show you which is working with these tabs so I'm going to go into edit layout mode and I have this primary tab here 
And I, you, as you can see, there are a lot of options. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say configure this dashboard. And I'm going to change the name from primary to let's just call it master display. And go finish. And I'm going to add another one now because I want to add some GitHub repo information, some pages to another tab. So I'm going to add a new tab. I'm going to call it GitHub. And I'm going to do like we've done before. I'm going to add some widgets. So first one up, I'm going to add this web page for the address. I'm going to cheat here. I got some shortcuts. I'm going to go with this one and just paste it in there and go finish. That's the master repo there. I'm going to add another widget. Same thing. I'm going to go in and put an address for this one. Let's say that I, I want to have one that shows a list of all of my tasks that I need to work on. Looks like I, I have some tasks to complete there. Let's make these a little bigger. So I can always see my task list here. Let's go ahead and add another widget, but this time let's do a different one. So I'm going to do a to do list and I'm just going to put this one in the corner here. I'm going to make it a little wider and let's go ahead and configure it. So a to do list is exactly what it says. It's a simple to do list that you can check off and add items to. I'm just going to change this to an orange border, leave it at that and say finish. And let's do another one as well. Let's add, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and add a text widget? And I'm just going to make this one a little wider here and configure this. Basically for this one, it's just a title and a color that you can put in and do that and finish editing. So now here's my dashboard. So let's just try these ones out quickly. Uh, let's go ahead. You can see I can do an add an item here or mark them all as incomplete. So let's just tap here and add an item. And let's say uh, I need to work on your tasks. Let's add another one and let's just say uh, update tickets. And then in the text one, it's basically a freeform text field. So what I can do is I could put in here anything I want. Let's say I'm in a meeting and I need to take some notes. Uh, you can just put in anything that you need. So maybe you're just going to put temporarily information in here and transfer those notes later on. And just a note for myself that says transfer these notes. So there's some basic widgets and a, and a layout on here. Now, you know, as I look again, I'm thinking, you know, these, they're a little cramped in here. So what I'm going to do is instead of having, you know, these sort of pages here where I've got to scroll around, I'm going to actually just create a new tab, I think, and move these over to their own separate full windows. So I'm going to say edit layout. I'm going to take this tab and I'm going to copy the widget. I'm going to actually let's use another feature. So what I can do is I can actually copy this dashboard, uh, sorry, this tab. So what I could do is I could say show all of me the options. I could say copy dashboard and then I'm going to add a new one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste dashboard. I'm going to paste that one right there. Uh, actually, sorry, here it is over here. So we can get rid of this one. Let's just remove that one. So now I've got two copies of the same one. If I just click on here, you can see there are basically two copies. It saves me doing a whole bunch of work. Let's just get rid of these two widgets from this one. Um, actually, let's go ahead and get this get rid of this one as well. Let's make this one a lot wider so I can see everything that's going on. And let's change the size to be bigger there as well and go finish editing. So now you can see that was a quick way that I've, I've done this without having to reconfigure it. We got this one, a normal one, a bigger one, sorry, and then my master display. So this is really the basics of working with the dashboards. In the next video, I'll move on to some of the other features uh, like setting up the toolkits and those kind of things, because I think we've we've covered enough in this video to get you started. 
So be sure to look out for the next video at peterwidham.com.